six um, extreme live workouts started today. The last day to get in the ultimate ultimate portion fix coach test group is today. Um, and then the ultimate portion fix challenge packs are still on sale for um, April and May. Summit. So if you are going to summit, um, they announced the qualifications for two different parties. One was the success club party and the other was like a leadership ladder type party. Uh, so if you're interested in learning more about the qualifications for that, check out the FAQ. Um, and then last but not least, it is the final day for free shipping on apparel. That's it. Thanks, babe. You're the best. Um, okay, a few other things that I had. I wanted to do some recognition because this, God, my eye is like watering. Sorry, guys. Um, so... Audrey hit success starter this past week, the same day she freaking got engaged. So congratulations to you. We are so proud of you. We're so excited for you and Dave. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Lots of ring pictures. Obviously we want those. <laughs> um, so she's going to summit for, for free ticket this, this year. So I'm really, really proud of you. Proof that you guys, your new coaches can just like light a fire and go after it. Um, also, who else? Oh, Claire's on morning workouts again. So props to her. I know she's probably feeding the baby right now. Um, Jack had a new coach upgraded. I know she's at the beach right now. Um, and Alicia and I talked about like focusing on her Instagram story. So she's been really doing that. So I wanted to shout her out. Hopefully she watches this recording. Um, a couple announcements for you guys. I put in the team page that we're going to do a free group starting next week. So let's brainstorm some like fun themes for that. Um, I was thinking something about like earning your rosé on the weekend. I know Stephanie, that's hard for you right now, but um, something along those lines since summer's coming up and I thought it'd be a great way to kind of re-engage all the people that maybe we've talked to in the past couple months and y'all that now is the time people start thinking about summer. They start thinking about, oh crap, what have I been doing the past four months or six months or eight months? I need to get on my game. So it's like literally such a good month to think about re-engaging and following up and reconnecting and all of that good stuff. Um, thinking ahead to May, just so you guys are have this in your mindset, most likely I'm working on the details behind the scenes, but I actually connected with Natalie Bailey today and we're gonna run a diamond push group in May. So it's gonna be 30 days. Um, if you guys don't know Natalie, she actually has the same coach as me. Rachel is her coach, but she's been elite the past three years. She's a bomb team. I think she's six star diamond or seven star lifetime. Like she knows the business really well. And I'm really excited about that. There's no like qualifications or anything besides the fact you got to show up every day for 30 days. So more details coming on that. And then, um, May 20th vegan chocolate recover is coming out. So start thinking about how you are breadcrumbing that in your stories and your posts and really talking to your challengers about it guys. Cause Sometimes we think, oh, new, 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 we got to get new people. But when there's a new product launch like that, the first place you want to start is your current customers, your current challengers, getting them excited about this. I know Stephanie has been like dying for this vegan product forever. So I expect her to be talking a lot about it and hopefully educating us some on like, what is the difference and why this is really great for our people that have gluten, dairy allergies. Any other recognition you guys want to shout out or announcements or things that I missed? I think that was my entire list. Anything, anything? All right. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to hopefully Jordana's there. I'm going to announce Jordana. So just to give you guys a little background, I met Jordana on a whim on the Success Club cruise. So this was her first trip. She never been on a trip before. She lives in Canada. I don't know exactly where. She will tell you that, I'm sure. But we literally just sat down in the same place at the same time. She actually met Maggie and her husband with um, her boyfriend one day on the cruise, and they just tagged along with our group. And it was so fun. And that's the power of getting to these events, guys, and working for them. You never know who you're going to meet. You never know who you're going to connect with. And like, it's, she was just a breath of fresh air. And we just 
chatted. Her uplines are Jamie and Kim Fitzpatrick. You guys probably know who they are. They're freaking awesome. And I just, I, I know she's going to bring the heat to y'all finishing out the month strong. She has a forget how old your baby is. But you have to tell us, but she's a newer mom. So for those of you that are like, I don't know how to run this business and be successful and manage a kid or thinking about having a kid, Stephanie, I think she's going to be great breath, breath of fresh air and um, just a different insight. So go for it, girl. I'm excited for you to be here and thank you for giving us your time. Well, thank you for having me. It's exciting to be here as well. Okay, so I'm, uh, I'll just give you a little brief history of my background and how I even became a coach. But I'm from Ontario, Canada, uh, just outside of Toronto. It's like an hour away. Uh, and my son is 15 months old and he's still not walking yet, which is like driving me nuts, but I'm sure he'll be walking soon. But um, I actually was a beach body client, or I signed up as a coach two years ago. And I ended up getting pregnant and I actually quit coaching. If there's one thing I absolutely regret was quitting coaching when I signed up two years ago. Um, so when my son was born in January, 2018, last year, um, I always knew that I wanted to come back to coaching cause I just, it brought so much fulfillment to my life. And I, I just felt like I was being purposeful with my life that I knew once my son was born, like, I was like, I don't want to go back to work. This is exactly what I want to do. So I'm going to hustle now that I'm on maternity leave to get to where I want to go. So um, I signed up one month after he was born and everyone thought I was crazy that I was raising a little month, being a new mom, like you don't even know what to expect at all. Plus I was starting to run my own business where like, I kind of had an idea what I was doing, but like, I didn't know exactly everything that I was doing, but you learn I should go. Right. So I was just like, I can do this. I can totally do this. Right. So a little history though, before I even dive into like how I started to build my business and stuff like that. Like I actually came across Beachbody because one of the girls that I was working with, um, two years ago was, uh, server and she asked me to be part of her challenge group and I had no idea what this was and I was just a girl that tried every single thing out there like I struggled with body image issues I struggled with eating disorder issues and like I was always that girl trying the next bad diet thing and I was just like okay well I, I'll just try it because I've tried everything else so the minute I actually tried a like when I joined a challenge group was the minute I fell in love with like the whole community aspect of it. And that is kind of why I came back to Beachbody too, is because I wanted to feel like I was a part of something. And growing up, I never really felt like I was a part of anything. I was that girl that was just like hanging out with these different groups. And just, I felt like people were just accepting and not even accepting me, but just allowing me to hang out with them because I had no one else to hang out with kind of thing. Um, so I ended up falling in love with the whole challenge group aspect. And I decided to, I wanted to coach got pregnant again, or I got pregnant. And that's how I came about quitting and then getting back into it. So I'm just going to dive right in on how I actually started to build my business and how I even became a diamond. I did a diamond push group, which Danielle was telling you guys about that you're doing in May. And that's kind of what like drove me to, to keep like pushing harder. But, um, basically I literally, Cause I, I guess my schedule is probably going to be different than your schedule. Cause you're probably, some of you probably work in the corporate world. Um, some of you probably work part-time, full-time, whatever it is that you are. So like, don't base your, like, just take everything with a grain of salt tonight and kind of like implement what you need and what you can think, uh, will work for you and your business. So I started it one month after my son was born and I sacrificed sleep, even though I was already sacrificing sleep with my newborn child. Like I got up every day at 5 a.m even though my son was, I was nursing my son four times a night, four or five times a night. Like people thought I was crazy. I lived off of mama juice is what I called it. Energize and caffeine. But basically the, like I always tell everyone, like try to get down a good morning routine because the way you start your day, even if you're working your business or even if you're working a full-time job, it's going to set you up to be more productive throughout your day anyway. So I said, no matter what, I'm going to wake up at 5 a.m. and I'm going to do my morning routine. And that started with um, my personal development, my uh, gratitude journal, my um, morning meditation, my daily mantras, my daily affirmations. Like I do all this in an hour's time and then I do my workout at 6 a.m. So I really got, um, I really got like 
nailed down on my morning routine because I knew if I didn't pour into me first, I wasn't going to be able to pour into other people. And this business is all about taking care of yourself first. Like that's number one priority is being a product of the product and putting yourself and your own needs first. So really uh, getting um, crystal clear with my morning routine was number one thing that I had to do for myself because I knew like I just, I, I couldn't function without it. Another thing was uh, I had to get crystal clear with my why. And why is it that I'm wanting to do this business? Like I, once you have a crystal, crystal clear vision of it, I actually have a vision board and I have it written down as to why I'm doing this business. And I read it every single morning, knowing that those days when I don't want to show up, I just look at my, my vision or my vision board or my, and I read it. And I know like that is why I'm showing up today. Even though like I've had like a shitty day and I suffer with depression, um, and sometimes my depression takes over and I don't want to show up, but I still try to show up in a way that I can at least do the, do the basic vitals. And you, I'm sure you guys all know what the basic vitals are. Um, so that's another thing too. Like I, um, I'm sure you guys have seen the success club tracking system. Like I live off of this. I do not go to bed unless this is like, everything's checked off and I don't just check off boxes to be like, Oh yeah, I did that. Like I make sure I do that. And if I don't do that, I'll actually put an X and then that just shows that like I wasn't fully doing the actual four vitals that we're supposed to be doing. So that was another thing that like changed my business for me was actually like doing this. Um, but another, uh, so after like I'll do my morning routine and stuff like that, I get crystal clear with my vision every single day, just so I know, and then I also work from a marketing plan. So Beachbody gives us this marketing plan right in the back office. And then I create my own based off of that, or I'll take Jamie and Kim's and I'll tweak it. So like every single month I I'm like looking at my marketing plan right now, knowing, knowing I still have to do maze. I haven't even done it yet, but every single month I know I am doing a free group. It's either the first or second week of the, um, the month. And that's just a three day free group. I sometimes I'll do a five, sometimes I'll do a seven, depending on the topic that I want to do. But I try only do it three days because these people are just, I only want to like do breadcrumbs of what they're going to get when they're, when they sign up as a challenger with me, or like, you still want to bring value to your following. You still want to bring value to your social media, wherever it is that you're, you're on, like sharing this opportunity with people. You want to be able to, Sorry if you hear my son screaming. I don't know what's going on right now. Um, you want to be able to bring value to them no matter what, even if they haven't signed up yet, because that's going to build that trust factor with them. And then that's how they're going to know like, okay, like if this is what she's offering, giving us free information, I wonder what's happening behind closed doors in those VIP challenge groups. So I'll run a free group every single month. Um, next month, I still haven't even decided it's going to be in like three days. I'm probably going to do like a sugar detox or something like that. Kind of liked your idea about the whole rosé, earning your rosé on the weekend. That's really cute. Um, but I always um, run a marketing plan. And I'll share um, our, yeah, so I always do a marketing plan. Um, I also do a challenge group every single month. And I'm like this one in May, I'm doing the lift formation. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen that yet, but it's, I'm obsessed with lift four. And I was in the test group for Transform 20. So like those two combined are just like, my jam and I won't do sometimes I don't even promote the stuff that's even going on because it doesn't resonate with me so if it's not going to resonate with you do not promote something that you're not even gonna it, it's gonna it's gonna show like for me I tried to promote um Chris Downing's shift shop and I, I couldn't do it like it just showed that like I wasn't authentic and real about it that like I wasn't so like hyped up about it so I was just like you know what I'm not if it's not going to resonate with me I'm not going to I'm not going to do it so always find something that resonates with you and that you know it's your jam and that you can talk about it and you can be hyped up about it and excited about it because people feed off that energy. Um, another thing that I do um, is that I, um, I run my own Coach Steve Peaks and this got very uncomfortable and it got scary, um, but I knew if I wanted to bring on working coaches, people needed to hear my story and they didn't need to hear Jim came in I always call them Kami and Jim or Jim and Kami, Kim and Jamie's stories. Like it's nice that we have our, my upline runs those coaching peaks for us, but like people are watching your stories for a reason. They're wanting to hear your story. They want to be a part of you. People don't want to join other people. They want to join you. Right. So 
that was another game changer for me was to start running my own coach sneak peeks. And it was really scary, but it was so liberating at the same time because I actually have now 10 working coaches and I've been in this business since last February. So I didn't actually start running my own coach sneak peeks until this February, like a year into it, but I, I wish I did it earlier. Um, every week I also do four calls to action, whether that's in my posts, I, I do four calls to action minimum. So whether that's in my posts, my IG stories, my IG TV, um, anything like that, I always make sure that I have a call to action, even if it's every single day, but like four big ones. So one will be like a challenge group. One will be, uh, or two of them will be like a challenge group. One will be a, a call to action to join the coaching opportunity. Um, I just want to make sure like I have that they're either in like, I'll be like, click my poll or like go to my link in bio for more info, stuff like that. Um, I do, uh, I, we're, sorry, I'm just reading my notes where I put here, uh, call to action at the end of posts. Yeah. So I don't do it in every single post that I post on social media. So I try to post at least one to two times a day. I don't, I used to like get upset if I didn't, but the more times you post, the more times you're going to be in people's feeds and they're going to be like, okay, I'm in your face. Like, what are you, what are you bringing to me now? So I just try to bring either value in my posts or I do a call to action of some sort, just so I get like, even if a call to action is just like, raise your hand. If you have ever struggled, have been on the struggle bus, like we all go on, like it has nothing to like, of course, struggle bus has something to do with like motivation for instance, or like whatever. But like, sometimes it doesn't even have anything to do with the coaching opportunity or a challenge group. It's just to get people engaging on your Instagram or wherever it is that you're doing your social media posting. And then you can actually click on their poll or you can go to their Instagram, start connecting with the stuff that they like. Cause obviously the ones that are connecting with you or like commenting on your stuff are the ones that actually you've sparked an interest or you've like hit one of their pain points or something like that. So I'll, then that gives me the opportunity to go to them. And I, I do the whole, like when I do my connections, I do the whole three, two, one method. So I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this, but it's like, like three comp pictures, comment on two indirect message for one. And a lot of them is like, so random. I, my, one of my niche markets is boy moms. So like I always end up finding boy mamas and I'll just be like, one of my invites or my connections would be like, um, Hey, I noticed that you've watched my stories recently. I just wanted to say thank you. But I also noticed that you're a boy mom. Your son is so cute. How old is he? Has nothing to do with like the challenge group invite. Like I've done that whole, like whole inviting and stuff like that before. And it doesn't work. Like you really, really, really got to build that connection and that trust with people because that is the way that they're gonna want to, hear more about what you have to offer. Um, so that is another thing, like connecting with people is like huge, huge, huge. Um, and I learned the hard way and I've been ghosted so many times and it's like, I used to get so upset about ghosted messages or no's, but like no just means not right now. And I've had people been watching me for a year now and they'll like, they were just starting to reach out to me and saying, okay, like I need this now. So like, just keep going at what you're doing because if you're showing up every single day and you're being authentically and ruthlessly you and just bringing value to people's lives, they're eventually going to catch on and they're going to eventually want to see and join you and do what you're, what you're doing. Um, so being consistent, it's all about that compound effect. Like you, even though like you might not be seeing the success where you're at, like in this moment, what you're doing now is preparing you for what's happening in like six, months from now. And I had to like really understand that because I'm someone that just wants something right away. Like I really want, like I was in two star qualifying and I dropped it and I was so upset and I cried for like a week straight. And then I was like, you know what? Like everyone goes through this. Everyone goes through the hard times and everyone is going to be qualifying for something and then dropping it. And like, you're going to miss a, miss, miss a benchmark goal that you set for yourself. But that just means like you got to reevaluate what you're doing and how, how you can change it and like, just keep going at what it is that you're doing too. And I knew that like, I'm going to get back up there and now I'm pushing again for one star at the end of the month because I want to be walking on that stage as a one star diamond at summit. So like, I need those goals. Like I need those like push goals to get me to where I go. Cause I could literally just be working my business every single day, or I can just kind of like slack. But like, if I have a goal or like someone says like, you need to be diamond by this date, like, Give me that date and I will do whatever it takes to get to that 
to that um, wherever it is. Like for me to hit diamond, we were going on a diamond retreat in Muskoka, Ontario. And it was for all the diamonds who qualified for June, like last year, got to go on this retreat. And I was like, okay, this mama needs a break. Like I'm going on that retreat. And that's what like pushed me to go to diamond. But also those push groups are amazing because you learn so much in it. Um, so where was I? I can rant, ramble a lot. I'm really sorry. Um, where are we? Another thing too is like, hit like find your niche market and like hit people's pain points in it. So like if you're someone who I'll just give myself as an example, if you're someone who, um, I was, uh, I struggled with body image issues and stuff like that. And like, I did a post the other, like I think three weeks ago about like my legs and how one point in my life, one boy called me thunder thighs and it stuck with me for the rest of my life until, and that's what got me in the cycle of yo-yo dieting and stuff like that so I talked about like yo-yo dieting and how these programs have literally stopped me from yo-yo dieting and helped change my life and the way I do things and it's just from that post I was able to like it, you'd have to go back and read it but like I was able to hit people's pain points and what because I was being relatable to other women and when you hit people's pain points that's like one mark and it, they say it takes about like 30 to 40 connections with one person before they actually like join you. So like imagine having to, you're always putting out content out there for people to like finally read it and be like, okay, like this girl's literally speaking to me. Like, I feel like I see myself in her or I have, there's a piece of me in her where I know that she can help me with something. And I now I'm just like, I've tapped out of, of my warm market. So I'm tapping into my cold market now. And it's, I find it's a lot harder to connect with those people. So it's like, literally, it's, I find that I literally, I wake up every morning and I just think to myself, how can I enrich someone's life today? How, who can I serve today? And like, I just think of like all these stories that have happened in my life and how I can share that story and try to be relatable to some person. Um, Cause like we all have a story and we got to utilize that story. And sometimes, um, you have to be vulnerable. And I remember when I had to come out saying I had, I suffered from bipolar depression and I didn't, I felt so, I felt like it felt liberating to say that out loud, but like it, it, I literally posted that post and I just turned off my phone and walked away because I was so scared of how many people were going to judge me for it. But the amount of love that people gave, and saying that like they too suffer from a mental illness is like it's something that you can connect on now and it's just like hitting those pain points and people understanding like okay like she's not just all glamour and she's not just she doesn't just have this perfect life um so that was something too is just sharing the sharing not just the good but also the ugly and the hard times and stuff like that um so how i built it was i literally used every single minute that I had and didn't Netflix and chill. Sometimes I will once my tracker is completed. But if this isn't done, like I literally set out pockets of time. And what has worked well for me was I got myself a planner. I just got gifted the Rise Up planner, so I'll probably be switching to that soon. But um, I get my planner out and every Sunday, I do a color blocking system on my planner. So one color will be for work, like beach body stuff. Uh, one, one color will be for Noah's schedule because I have a bunch of stuff for him. One, one color is personal, so like if I have appointments and stuff like that. And I will literally go on every Sunday morning or night and I plan out my entire week. And I will block off what I have to do for my work, my power hour, stuff like that. And I work from a schedule because I, at one point when my son was born, I wasn't really working for a schedule and I found myself always on my phone and I wasn't being productive. So when I knew I had set schedule and times, I would go into my office and my fiance knows like when I'm in my office and it's closed, that I'm working and I give him my schedule too, because it came to a point where we were arguing because I was always on my phone, but I was so, I could literally work this business 24 hours. Like I've been up from 5 a.m. at one point to like one in the morning working my business because I can't put my phone down. So, excuse me, planning from working from a planner and scheduling out your hours is like so key to your production, especially if you work a corporate job already and you're already working a nine to five and you don't really have a lot of time. Like 
the things that you should be doing the most is inviting, connecting, and following up. If that's all you have time to do, you can literally build your business in an hour a day. Um, sorry, I'm just reading these things. Can you share a picture of your schedule? Yeah, I'll snap like this. Is that what you're saying? So basically, like this was a. So this week I did um, yellow as my. Here, I'll go here. I'll just show. Yeah, I guess I'll give you back to like January. So I'm, I, I'm still on mat leave here in Canada. We have an 18 month maternity leave, which is pretty amazing. So I can work my business during my son's nap hours and I can wake up in the morning and still do my morning routine and stuff like that. All the stuff that's white is open space. Um, and I have unplugged time. So every day from four to seven, I do not, I don't work. I'm just, I, by the two o'clock comes, I'm kind of like a blob because I work all the time on my business. And that's the most, my most productive hours is between 5 a.m. and 2 p.m. After that, I'm just like, Bleh. I can't think. I unplug. I usually do, um, like even for like anyone who's becoming a mom or is a mom, um, you cried because you feel guilty for taking your three month old. Oh, you're pregnant. Aw, don't feel guilty. You're actually, okay, so that's the thing. Like, don't ever feel guilty too, because people are, I even, I even felt guilty for not having my son in my arms all the time. But the thing is, I'm building this business for him. What I'm doing now is going to be benefiting him in the future. So when you have your child, Stephanie, do not feel guilty for you being on your phone and not holding them all the time. I didn't, I've, I still held my son. Like, I'm not saying I didn't hold him or anything, but like, I knew that like what I'm doing now is going to be benefiting him in the long run. I'm creating a future for him that I always dreamed of for myself when I was a child. Like I want to put my son into, in a summer camp and I never ever did that. So like, I never felt guilty once for being on my phone. I told my fiance that too, because my fiance thought I was just scrolling through Instagram. So if you have, if you don't have a supportive partner, it's going to be very, very hard for you to even build your business. And my business turned when I actually went to summit. And if you haven't gotten your ticket for summit, like you need to go to summit. And I brought my baby, my four month old baby with me because I was breastfeeding and I brought my fiance with me. So we were all went as a family. It was stressful AF, but that was a turning point for my business. I said to myself, if all those women on that stage can do it, why not me? Why not me? They're nothing special. They're a normal human being. They're just sharing their journey and with other people and bringing other people on. So why can't I do that? So get to summit. If you haven't already got your ticket, like do whatever you can. And the best thing is you can write it off because it's a business expense. So like you're you're not going to be wasting any money whatsoever. If you want to build your business, you have to invest in your business. You have to invest in yourself. So go to personal development conferences, go to our beach body summit conference. It is absolutely mind blowing how much information you learn there. And it literally turned my business. Cause when I came, when I finished or when I came home from that business, yes, I was, or that conference, I was exhausted, but I came home with a fire under my butt and I, Push so freaking hard the rest of the summer, and I never, ever, ever. That's how I got in Transform Twenties because I hit SC forty two in one month, and I've never done that before. I'm not saying I could do that every single month because I'd probably burn out, but I have a goal. Like I want to hit SC twenty every single month. I don't want to do SC five. Yes, SC five is great. I help three people, but I set that goal, and I make sure that I have SC ten by the middle of the month because that way I'm not hustling at the end of the month to hit those numbers or get those benchmark goals. So always like set mini goals for yourself every single week. Like if you want to get SC 20 by the end of the month, like make sure you're getting SC five every single week. So you get there and that way you're not hustling super hard at the end of the month to get that goal. Um, so setting mini goals too, and working from like a quarterly marketing plan is what's been working well for me. Um, so my quarterly mark, like my goal was to hit S or three star diamond by the end of July. Cause that's when our next quarter ends. Um, I think so that's like my that's what I'm pushing for and I said I wanted to be one star qual for summit well I'm gonna be one star <laughs> it's not a qualification it's gonna be and what you put out there is what you manifest so like I don't know if you guys believe in meditation and manifesting but like 
I'm telling you, once you write it down, like I have a gratitude journal that I write down every single day. I like, I, I'm already grateful for things that are coming in the future. So I'll write down, like, I'm grateful for all the hardworking coaches coming my way. I don't even have them yet, but they're coming my way. And I'm great, grateful for that. Like being like practicing gratitude, but practicing it for like what's coming in the future and doing those I am affirmations and statements because they're, they're so powerful and they can literally change the trajectory of your life if you actually believe in it. Um, so that was something that I really nailed down too. I think I already said that, so I'm just rambling. <laughs> but um, another thing too was like, I did a call recently and I'm going to talk to you guys about this too. I'm like my recruiting process on how I get discount coaches and working coaches. And this is what I did when I was qualifying for two star. Like I wasn't even close to becoming a two star diamond. And I gave myself a week, one week. <laughs> and my coach, Christine said like, she was like, are you crazy? Like, you're going to not even go for a one star. You're going to go for a two star. And she's a two star coach. And I was just like, I got this. It's, it's totally cool. And I don't recommend that you do exactly what I did because it flopped a bit, but it still worked. Um, I actually got one of my girls a diamond by giving her some of my customers and converting them from customers to discount coaches. But if you really, really want it, you could do that. Um, but my diamond, she, she dropped that and she's just said next time, like, I want to do it myself. So I don't push people unless they really want it. And I can't want it as, as much as they do. Um, as much as I wanted her to become a diamond and like walk on stage with me as a diamond. But like you, if you have working coaches that you're working with, or if you, you just got to go at their own pace. Like if you, if they're going to walk the business, you walk the business with them. If they're going to jog the business, you jog the business with them. If they're going to run the business, you're going to run with them. And that's kind of where I had to like dial back a bit and not push this girl too much. Cause I was kind of pushing her because of my own goal. But you have to also be open with your goals to your team because you guys are a team, right? You're not just, it's not just a you business or an I business. It's a we business and you all work together. So if you're, if Stephanie's pushing for diamond and um, Audrey is pushing for diamond and Brianna's pushing for diamond, Danielle is pushing for like seven star. You're all going to benefit from it. You're all going to get a pay increase. You're all going to see results from it, right? So work as a team. And it's a team effort. Even for our Coach Steve Peaks, we work as a team. There's three of us doing Coach Steve Peaks together. And we all share our stories and we all throw our own people in it. So um, working as a team and just going at your own pace, going at the pace of your team as well. So that's one thing that I had to learn um, was to go the pace that the, your co working coaches are going to do. But um, so what I did was for my recruiting, I usually go to my current customers first. And the ones that have had the most success. And the ones that I see posting a lot in my challenge groups, I'm just like, okay, they're pretty much already doing what I do. They're sharing their journey on social media too. They are um, posting in the challenge groups. They're cheering other people on. And I, I, I go to them directly and I said, Hey, like you're doing amazing on your, your program and you're seeing amazing results. Have you ever considered coaching yourself? And some of them will be like, oh, no, I can't do what you do, or I don't have the time. And I say, well, if I can show you the time, or if like, I can sit down, or if you can come in my coach's peak, would, you be, would that be of interest of you? Because like, we all have the time. We're just, it's what we're doing with that time, right? So um, another thing, too, is like, if I see my customers um, buying orders, continuously ordering stuff, and I'm like, you know, monthly they're getting Shakeology, but they're not getting the discount. Like I'll reach out to them and be like, Hey, like, I want to, I know that you're buying Shakeology. I can see it. Like, I want to save you some money. Like, would you be interested in becoming a discount member? Some of them say yes. Some of them say no. And that's totally fine. But like just putting that question out there, it doesn't hurt to ask. Cause if you don't ask the answer is no. So asking, um, your current customers, um, if they want to, or even your current, asking your current customers and clients if they have friends and family that want to join them on their journey. Um, I've had some people do that and then they ended up becoming a discount coach so they could just sign the people up and then get their product paid for it for a month. Cause some people just do that. Right. Um, another thing was I always, always, always offer the discount option first when I'm selling a challenge pack to people. And the reason doing this is because I recommend them staying on the products for two to three months just so they get the full benefits and get the full results. Um, cause some people are just like, Oh, I don't want to like, but I just say to them, like it's part of the program. And if you want to go all in and get results, 
I highly recommend you just try the products and programs for two to three months and see how you feel. And I was like, there's no commitments, there's no contracts, you can cancel at any time. But if you want results, this is how you should do it. And I had one girl who like was adamant at not getting BOD. She signed up last year for to be mindset. She did amazing in her first month, lost 20 pounds. She's one of my, she's one of the girls that was diamond for me that lost the rank, but she had no intentions of becoming a coach and she fell in love with the products. She didn't want the discount then finally switched over. And she's like, I wish I wish, I wish I listened to you from the beginning. <laughs> and a lot of people say that I wish I would listen to you in the beginning for going all in and getting the results because they actually see that like, I'm not just trying to sell them something. I'm literally trying to help them change their life. And just that's, yeah. <laughs> Another thing was, um, I always talk about, the, I started to talk about the coaching opportunity more when it came to trying to find business builders. I was scared at first, but then I realized that like, this is a gift that can literally change someone's life um, for the rest of their life, not just their life, but their family. So I, like I mentioned before, I hosted my own coaching peak with my upline and team and people wanted to hear my story and they didn't want to, like, I found when I kept putting them into Jamie and Kim's uh, coaching peak, nothing would happen from it. So I said, things need to change. And if I want to build a team, I have to share my story more and I have to be the one that running the coaching peak. Um, so that's a huge thing. And I said, like, this is a business and our products and programs are just byproducts of the business. We are a wellness business. We're not a fitness business. We're not a nutrition business. We are literally a wellness business that can change someone's life. And I got crystal clear with that. Um, if you're, if you feel like you're salesy, it's probably because you're coming off as salesy. Like people don't want to buy the products. They buy you. They buy you because they trust you and they trust that you can help them get to their goal, that you have a solution for their goal. So talking about it this way helped me attract the business builders and the challengers that I wanted into my business. Um, that was like another thing for me. I just have to pause you right there because like yeah. you guys need to hang on to that, what she just said and like really hear that loud and clear. I actually just shared, I'm pretty sure Jamie and Kim's video this weekend in our team page with you guys. And they spoke very clearly about that. Um, that we're, we're not a health and fitness business. And that was like such a like flip or switch, switch of a flip. I messed this up the other weekend, <laughs> flip, flip of the switch for me, because it's not, you guys have a solution that can totally change somebody's life emotionally, physically, mentally, financially. It's not just your workouts. Like people don't care if you work out. Yeah. They don't, they don't care if you work out. They don't care if you drink a shake. They want to know why, why are you doing this? And that's where you need to come in and be like, this is why I'm doing it. Because it's literally like, for me, why I'm doing this is because I love how I feel. I love how working out makes me feel. I don't do it for just for aesthetics. Like that was the old Jordana. The old Jordana was a chasing the aesthetics all the time, all the time. I do it so I feel good in my body. So it releases those endorphins. So I can run around with my son like when he's 12 and I'm like 40. I don't know how old I'll be. I'm just throwing that out there. I think, yeah, I actually will be 40, but like still, I'm just like, that is why I do this. This is why I do it. And I know that people like, they don't care. They don't care that you work out. And I, I tell stories in my workout stories and my workout stories. Now I don't just post me working out and like drinking my shake. And another thing too, that kind of changed was, um, the way I was posting on social media is, before it was all scattered and I didn't have a lot of traction to my page. So when you have like a flow and rhythm of what, how your pictures are posting, I'm sure you guys all know this, but that was like, I had to get kind of like play around with my graphics and like make them bright and pretty. Whereas before they were like dull and ugly. So it's like people come to your page because of traction and stuff like that. Um, I really don't know what else. Oh, I said, yes, I do. So I track down everything in my like a notebook. I get a notebook every single day. Day, I have a sheet and I write down I try to invite 10 people per day that's like my minimum um, sometimes I'll do like two to three and that's okay I'm okay with that but um, that's between 10 invites to a challenge group and I try to do one to two for coaching opportunity because I don't want to be on my phone 24 7 like I tell you I have my I have my pockets of hours that I work 
and I'm okay with going at my own pace for my business. Um, I was trying to match Kim's pace because I'm like, it's always me and her and our challenge and like, not always, but like I'm up there top five and I'm always like wanting to like, Oh, one month I beat Kim and I was so friggin' excited and happy. But like, that's just me. Like, I'm like, I'm not competing against anyone. It's just, it, I'm in, I'm the competitive nature. So like I learned to scale down because I can't match Kim's pace. And I burnt the F out once I finished last summer, like after Transform 20, when I got in that test group, I was burnt out and I didn't want nothing to do with this business, but that's because I pushed myself to the max, whereas like I didn't have anything left in me. Um, so what I do is I write down all my invites. I'll write down an invite and I do follow-ups and I do connections and I track this every single day. So if I invited someone say today, and they either respond asking for more information or um, they ghosted me. I will follow up with them in like two or three days, like three to four days from now. And if they ghosted me, I literally just say, hey, I totally understand that this isn't for you, but I felt compelled to reach out anyways because I see you've been liking my stories a lot or watching my stories a lot and liking my posts. And sometimes they'll respond and if they, if they don't, I just move on. Um, so I always, always, always have to, like I have a tracking system and I like, if I lose this, I will cry because <laughs> it's like gold to me. So that's like one thing like I always recommend is just track everything. Um, it's going to save you in the long run and you can always go back. Like if you're pushing for a goal, like I'm pushing right now for one star, like I'm going back to August and I'm going to follow up with every single person that I invited from August. Well, it's going to take like, if you're pushing for a goal, you kind of have to give yourself an extra extra time and really like push for it because you're not going to get your goal if you're going to be like oh i'm going to build my business i'm going to work for like one or two hours and that's it like this week i know that it's going to i'm going to be up late because i'm pushing for that goal so like really really go back look through go go check out with all your followers people that said no or not right now like it's just a not right now um so that's the one thing that I'll do. I also have a mailing list. So I do not send out information unless I get someone's email that way. Cause I do MailChimp. I'll send out like a new challenge group thing happening through MailChimp or whatever. Cause like sometimes you get people through there. Um, I also send out a weekly newsletter just to get people like, again, giving them free value. It could be recipes. It could be, um, stuff that like has nothing to do with, Beach body. It could be like things that I love, like new products that I found this week. Like it's just something fun, you know, like a blog post or whatever. Uh, that's something that I've been doing. Um, other than that, like that's literally how I built my business in the year. I just worked in pockets of time in the beginning, and then um, I don't Netflix and chill. <laughs> I, I'm not a I'm not a, a Netflix person, anyways. I don't watch TV. Um, I work through an agenda and from there, that's what changed my business for me. It was just planning my days out and, and just doing it that way. Cause if I didn't, I was always on my phone and I didn't feel productive at all. Um, so yeah, I'm open to any questions. I hope this was valuable to you guys. I kind of did prepare, but I didn't prepare. So if there's any questions, like, please ask. <laughs> I have one. Yeah. So I had asked you to share your point and Danielle stopped me because I, I can be like a very, and I think that we can relate on this, like a one plus one equals two. And if I'm doing the things that I'm supposed to do, I should be getting the results and it can be frustrating sometimes. So um, I, I just could relate to everything you said. And you feel like you're constantly on your phone, but you're not being productive. So how do you break down your um, like when you sit down in a pocket, like, are you saying, I'm going to do this one specific goal following up with you, or do you just have blocks of time, or are you doing specific tasks to your calendar? Like, are you breaking it down specifically what you're doing, or is it just beach body so, time? So I set a timer. So for 20 minutes, I think her bandwidth's going out. Um, it's so I, I, sprint. I have sprint. I'd suck. <laughs> <laughs> And then you're asking, how do I break down my power? Or how do I sit down and be more productive? So I set timers because if I don't, like I could literally be going, I could be following up for people for like an hour and that's not moving my following up with people all the time is not going to move your business forward. Like I do those revenue activity generating revenue 
generating activity every single day. Like that's what's gonna move your business forward. And sometimes you're like getting frustrated, I get it, because you're just like, I'm doing literally everything and nothing is happening. But like I said, what you're doing now is gonna pay off six months from now. And I set a timer and I work off a timer. So I allow myself 30 minutes to follow up, 30 minutes to connect, 30 minutes to invite. And when I mean like invite, sometimes it takes me like a good week of having a little conversation with someone to actually get that open door to invite them. Um, so my invites aren't just like, Hey, you want to join my next challenge group? It's like, I actually have like a conversation with them kind of like see where they're at. And then not even, it doesn't even, sometimes it doesn't even lead to like fitness things. because The opportunity isn't even there for me to like open, like present that. But I'll say like, I don't know if you can tell her my account or not, but aside from being a mom, I'm actually an online health and wellness coach and I run these amazing fitness groups for women to stay accountable to each other. And we, we work out Netflix style. Have you ever considered something like this before? And sometimes they're like, Oh, I've never even heard of this. Like, tell me more. Like, it's just, I have to work off a timer because I can literally work this business all the time. Um, so I don't know if that answered your question, but timers are like, they're gold. <laughs> no, it definitely did. It's the same thing. My fiance, I can say that now. You're always on your phone and it's, yeah, it's just, I like that. Just the time we're breaking it down just to the activities on the tracker. It's, it's simple. That's what I did. And then I just like, feel like I got away from that. So thank you for that. I just could relate to you a ton. Oh yeah. So just even like, even showing your fiance, like I have to do this to my fiance because he wants to see, right? Like you're a unit, you're a team and they want to see that you're like, some, like Nick didn't understand this business at all in the beginning had no, he didn't think he supported me because it was my dream and my goal to do this business, but he had no idea. So I literally had to show him my planner every single week and be like, these are my working hours. Like, and I'm on my phone and I'm working. I'm not scrolling through people's social media, like watching other coaches stories. Like I'm actually like, that was another thing. Like I was watching other coaches stories and kind of getting inspiration. And I was just like, I have to be me and I have to do things that are going to be that represent me. And yes, you can get in inspiration from other coaches, but people can smell fake and people can sense that like, you're not being you. So that was one thing too. Like I just had to stop following other people's, I stopped following coaches. I stopped liking their stuff. I like got laser focused on what it is that I wanted. And I set my goals for the week and I just go with it and work from a timer and just do those business revenue um, activities. Cause those are what's going to move your business forward. Awesome. Such good advice. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Yeah. What would you tell a coach that feels like maybe they're in a rut and they have really big goals and they want to know how to get from like out unstuck and chasing where they know they can be? Um, so I had to do this with my one coach that was diamond and she dropped it and she came like she she also suffers from a bit of mental health issues too but she was in the biggest rut ever and i said you know what take time for yourself fall in love with the program again from start to finish get your own results again don't worry about like hustling to find all these people to bring on a challenge group work with the people that you currently have and i've been told this all the time like i got in the rut too and i was just like i kind of want to quit and my coach said, don't quit, still show up on social media every day, share your products, be a product of the product, do the four vitals, but don't quit and just focus on what you currently have and how you can um, grow off of that. And that's when I leaned into seeing, like going into my challenge groups and trying to find co like coaches from there, like seeing if they've ever want, considered about being doing the business. Um, I also told, like, I also said to my coach too, who was kind of in a rut, like find a personal development book that you need right now. Um, it could be like something on happiness. It could be something on leadership, like something you don't follow the trends of what everyone's like reading. Everyone's reading girl, stop apologizing or whatever it is by Rachel Hollis. Yes. I have that book. I've maybe read one chapter of it, but that's not what I need right now. What I need right now is stuff on because I suffer from depression. So I need stuff on happiness, gratitude. I need stuff on um, leadership because I'm building a team. Like building a team scares the shit out of me and I don't feel like I'm a leader, but I am a leader. So it's like, I need to drive that belief into myself. So finding something 
that you need to work on for your own personal development because that's kind of what people are, are usually people are in a rut because something is off in their own personal life and they can't seem to like find that drive to do what they need to do does that help <laughs> no i think that's great i mean it's so true like you like you guys have been around the block for a hot minute like i'm almost coming up on my five years and if you think i haven't been in ruts like you guys know i've been in ruts and it's true and when in doubt you always go back to vital number one like fall in love with a program and i love that you specifically said like you don't have to do like not everybody on our team is doing 80 day obsession right now like you don't have to do what everybody else is doing if that doesn't work for your life just because everybody else is doing it is there morning meltdown coming down the lane where I know our team's going to be like fired up about it? Cause I know it's our jam. Hell yeah. But like, if it doesn't serve you, it doesn't fire you up. Like go, you have bought, like that's, um, you have hundreds of workouts to choose from. So like, you've got to feel good about your fitness and your health first. Totally. hundred percent. And finding a success partner too. Like if you don't have a success partner, find someone that you can work with and even run a challenge group with. Sometimes you need that second opinion or the second eyes or that second voice that you can be like, not only are you getting myself as a, I don't know how you guys run your challenge groups if you do them all together as a team, but like not only are you getting me as a coach, but you're also getting someone else. And I have two of my coaches that they don't benefit from each other because they're on two different legs, but they're working together and they're helping each other and they're growing together. So like sometimes you just need to push from, another coach or a success partner to like get you out of that rut as well. So true. Mm -hmm. Any other questions you guys have? This was so good. I think it, it goes back to like, what do you guys want? Right? Like we're coming up the end of April, May's coming. And before you know it, summit will be here. And I wanted to just like close this call and remind you guys that like, I started at Emerald one day too back in 2014 everybody has to start here and so everybody has to duplicate this over and over and over again that's all that's all this business is hitting emerald over and over again and teaching other people to do the same i was gonna say that <laughs> so <laughs> i took the words out of your mouth so like when you guys hear from jordana and you're like oh my gosh there's all this stuff like it starts with why the heck are you doing this why is this important to you in the first place Summit's great, but like writing notes from a call is great, but like, what are you going to do with it? What are you going to do for your life with it? What are you going to do for your family with it? That's the stuff that drives you every day to keep showing up. I was just with my niece at dinner um, and I was literally running home for this call and I look in her eyes and I'm like, I don't want to ever tell her no. No, I can't go do that with you. No, I can't take time off. I mean, obviously I don't have kids right now, but I think about that so much this year right now. And I don't want any of you to have to choose, you know, weddings are coming up, babies are coming up in our families. Like that stuff costs money <laughs> and this business can change your life, but notes in a book don't change your life. Talking to people do, sharing your story does, getting up at 5 a.m. and doing the damn thing like I was just thinking about it um, today, actually, that the first year of my business, Noelle and I stayed up together till midnight, very, a lot of nights than I would like to admit, because I didn't know what the heck I was doing, but I knew I had to just keep doing and building and figure out how it worked for me. So take what you learned from Jordana and apply one thing, right? You don't have to take everything that she said. Half of it, you guys have probably already heard before, but in a different way, sometimes it strikes you and don't go to summit wishing you would have stepped into your potential. I think that's the biggest message because the worst feeling in the world, and this is my second card to you guys, is not getting your diamond recognition at summit because my first summit, I started qualification, but I didn't get the freaking medal because I wasn't an official diamond because you had to hit, you had to hold it for six weeks back then for your um, lifetime status. So Whatever it is, it doesn't have to be diamond or emerald. It could be a hundred dollars in your bank account, but like, what do you want and why? And then go share it with somebody so that they can hold you to it and then go work for it. Like, I think that's the thing we forget. It's so easy for us to show up to work every day because all of our team, Jordana, is um, full-time corporate, part-time coach right now. And it's, why, why, do we why do we treat that as like, well, I have to show up to work every day. 
I have to do my tasks for work every day. But for Beachbody, eh, 10 invites. Well, I guess I didn't post on social media today. Don't call out sick on yourself. Your family's worth it. Your freedom's worth it. Your finances are worth it. And I know this team is meant for so much more. And I know there's a lot of them that are going to watch this recording. And I hope you guys really hear this and take it to heart and go for what you want. And don't wait for permission to do it. All right. I love, love you guys. And don't be on your phone and taking away time from your family. If you're not being unproductive on your phone, you're literally taking away time from the loved ones in your life. And it's just rude. And you, if you're going to be on your phone, like your coach, work your business. Cause that's, what's going to move your business forward. Not just posting and saying, Oh, look at me drinking my shake <laughs> and don't do all the trainings. Like if there's a bunch of video trainings that are out there, like Jamie and Kim will post up in our group. Like I don't do them all because that's not going to move my business forward. I listen to their team calls. I watched, I listen to the guest speakers that are on our team calls. I take what, like what Danielle said, I take one thing. What's one thing that I can implement into my business right now that I'm not currently doing? Or how can I change my business by one thing? Simple, simple things, y'all. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Jordana. I so appreciate it, girl. We can't wait to okay. see you in Indy. We'll have to come yeah. find you and take a team photo or something. 100%. And, um, let's go work, guys. The month is not over and you can go after whatever it is you want but you just got to decide what that is, put a plan down on paper and go make it happen. Yes. All right. Do it. <laughs> Thank you, girl. I appreciate you. You're welcome. Have a good night. Bye guys.